Do you remember the start of the year new year resolution to study every single day so that you can score the best in your exams but what ends up happening is you have so much fun throughout the year and you do all the study in the last minute therefore the score up uh, than what you wanted to achieve what about the new year resolution to get to the gym at least three times a week and you go for a few days and you give up do you relate to this how about the business idea you wanted to work on and fast forward several years you're still stuck in the corporate job you hate and you're thinking that your day to day is just taking over and you don't know where to start why is that you are unable to get motivated and stay consistent to achieve your goals i will tell you why because those goals give you delayed gratification but our brain just loves instant gratification and that's why if we don't see an instant reward we don't want to even try and we just postpone why does this happen how can we prevent this from happening in this video i'm going to give you simple techniques you can apply right away to your life and see immediate results but for that i want you to pay complete attention and watch this entire video let's get into it welcome to success science where we unlock the secrets to achieving your full potential and living a life of health, wealth and success. Hi, I'm Dinesh. Thanks for clicking on my video and doing yourself a favor because this piece of knowledge and the practical application is going to change your life forever. Before we dive into it, let's first see what the renowned neuroscientist and ophthalmologist Andrew Huberman is asking us to do. By the way, only scrolling a scat wouldn't know who Andrew Huberman is. And then there's the kind of opioid like effects of constantly indulging oneself with social media or with video games or with, uh, with food or with anything when we can just sit there like the, like the rat with no dopamine, gorging ourselves with pleasures, so to speak, what you end up with is somebody that feels really unmotivated and those pleasures no longer work to tickle those feel good circuits. And so there's no reason for them to go out and pursue anything. And that's a pretty dark picture. So the, the keys are, to pursue rewards, but understand that the pursuit is actually the reward if you want to have repeated wins, okay? You, the celebration has to be less than the pursuit. So there is definitely something we could do as per neuroscience to stay continuously motivated and achieve our goals. Okay, now let's see what Sri Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita. And hey Parth, jo akarta hai, jo karm phal ki chha se mukt hai, vahi gyani hai, vahi buddhiman hai, aur vahi karm yogi hai. उसके लिए उसका कर्म ही कर्म फल भी है और इसीलिए वो एक कर्म के पालन के उपरांत कर्म फल की प्रतीक्षा में नहीं ठहरता बल्कि दूसरे कर्म की ओर बढ़ जाता है कर्म करो अर्जुन जय पराजय का विचार छोड़कर अपने कर्तव्य पर ध्यान दो what are they talking about it's about how to hack your dopamine system to stay motivated all the time now every time we talk about dopamine we think it's associated with pleasure but that's not the only thing. It's associated with many more important things that you need in your life, like motivation, deep focus, and memory. Without these three traits, you cannot start, be consistent, and focus on achieving the results that you would like. Let me explain. If you want to start a business, you need motivation to kickstart the work required. You must maintain deep focus to research and collect a ton of information. Lastly, you must not only absorb and remember all the knowledge you're gathering, but use this wide array of information in your day-to-day -day tactical and longer-term strategic decision-making. Only then you will succeed in establishing a successful business. Okay, let me tell you a story. This is my story. Until about last year, I was an addict to this overstimulating, overindulgent worldly activities. In December 2022, during my cousin's wedding, I was drinking off a full scotch bottle directly. And today, it's almost 10 months plus, I haven't touched alcohol. Not only that, I used to binge watch on Netflix, eat heaps of junk food, but now I'm on the other side of the spectrum. Yep. I did trick my brain to beat all my addictions and conserve the precious universal currency, dopamine, purely to focus on activities that help me build my future. I really wish I knew these dopamine system hacking techniques very early on in my life. And that's why today I want to share these techniques with you because I want you to win and I know you can win. It is absolutely easy. It is a simple trick. And you know what? Many successful people are already practicing these techniques. This is how they're not able to get succumbed to this addictive, overindulgent shit. But 
focus on what is important to build their future. Maybe they're doing things after they have achieved what they want to do for that day. But think about that businessman you see around or have met. They are solely focused on their goals, not distracted doing things that does not add value into their life. Okay, let's talk about every business out there that's making money out of your poorly regulated dopamine system. As a top Silicon Valley designer, Aza knows how to make technology manipulate our behavior. Mr. Zuckerberg, do you believe your product can be addictive? Uh, Senator, uh, we certainly do not design the product uh, in that way. And I think that the bulk of the scientific evidence does not support that. Here's another quote. Teens blamed Instagram, this is your study, for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. But you can't blame them too, right? Because self-control is a thing. The only way you can gain self-control is by regulating your dopamine system. I'm not saying I'm a saint now. At least I'm not a slave to this external stimulation and I'm able to save my dopamine to help me motivate to focus on things that are of strategic importance to me. This slavery has to end. So you can focus on what matters to you and to people around you. So what's dopamine? Dopamine is a neuromodulator molecule or a hormone that is produced in the lower midsection of the brain. Dopamine acts on areas of the brain to give you feelings of pleasure, satisfaction, and motivation. Dopamine also has a role to play in controlling memory, mood, sleep, learning, concentration, that is focus, movement, and other body functions. So pretty much it's everything. Okay, in 1999, scientists Shipke and team found that few of the mice were not moving at all. Even to go eat food, that was just literally a few centimeters away and ultimately they were dying. The team administered doses of dopamine and these mice started to move and started to walk again and go get some food and hence survived. They investigated to identify that these mice had no dopamine producing genes in them. Here's another review from scientist Richard, which was done in 2008. He concluded that dopamine facilitates feeding and other goal-driven behaviors. That's enough of science to back up that you need dopamine to move, that is to get motivation and to eat, that is to take action and to focus, that is to remain consistent and to remember, that is to make better decisions. So let's apply all this to our life, shall we? Think of yourself as a huge tree. The techniques you follow during your day-to-day -day tactical actions like work or study are enablers to produce the fruit which are like your short-term goals or your outputs of your actions. But main stump of the tree is your motivation. And where will that come from? That can only come from your dopamine system, which is like the foundational root system of this huge tree. There are hundreds of techniques on how to be more productive, how to study well, how to retain information, boost your memory, time management, remember what you studied, study more in less time, do more in less time. And there are hundreds of videos on these topics on YouTube already. But you all very well know, none of these techniques would work to give you results if you cannot focus or if you do not have motivation to start. You must pull your motivation from inside you by regulating your foundational underpinning dopamine system. And you know the stupidest thing to do is to rely on an external stimuli for motivation because that cannot sustain. I need a partner to go to the gym. I have subscribed for an annual membership for the gym so I will get motivated. Nah, it's not gonna work. The only way your motivation is sustained and consistent is by keeping your dopamine system in your control. So regulating your dopamine system is one of the secret ingredients for success. There are a few other ingredients for success, such as writing your goals down, writing your purpose down, and creating an action plan. Mukesh Ambani, one of the India's richest man, said in his speech, Dream big, align your passion and purpose in life with a goal. If you focus on the goal, you will overcome all obstacles. If you focus on obstacles, you will never reach your goal. Now, this process is everything in life. You establish goals that align with your purpose, mission, and focus on those goals. Now, in my case, I have determined my goals. That is to create meaningful content to help you from breaking these traps. And I see that is my purpose here. And I'm focusing on these goals alongside a full-time job, family, kids, all by regulating my dopamine system. According to neuroscience, you will achieve your goals when you write them down. 
However, there is a protocol you must follow on how to write them. I will cover that in my next video with a template and example. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I use these techniques and frameworks to achieve what I am today. From washing test tubes in a lab, today with an MBA from top business school in Australia. I have a great job that I love, running a YouTube channel, learning new skills every day. So these frameworks are doing wonders for me. Okay, enough of me trying to convince you the significance of dopamine system. Now, let's get into the how, shall we? For that, we need to understand how this dopamine system actually works. In 2015, there were few mice friends who lived in scientist Feldman's lab. One group of mice were social drinkers and the other never touched alcohol. Feldman and team hosted a party for them and measured their dopamine levels. Now, see the results yourself. The alcohol drinking rats had lesser peaks and the dopamine dropped below baseline after the reward. In subsequent drink sessions, you are essentially chasing a kick which never comes, which eventually leads to an addiction. This applies to any addiction, gaming, alcohol, drugs, Instagram reels, junk food, etc. Now, what is driving motivation here? The environmental stimuli, which is triggered by external factors like your phone or the location you are in or the people around you. This is called memory induced dopaminergic activity. Remember the feeling when you think about your last holiday? You want to go there again, but because you cannot go immediately, you just give up. But that is not the same with Instagram or alcohol, which is even more easy to access. So you just go and reach out to it. So bottom line is, every time you're distracting yourself with scrolling reels or drinking or doing something fun, you get this huge dopamine peak. And as soon as your hands are on it, your dopamine not just drops, but drops so below baseline and you will lose motivation to work on other meaningful activities because your dopamine factories are exhausted and Depending on how much below baseline dopamine drops, the longer it takes to slowly build back up. Now, let's go back to the tree. Every time we want to do a task, we go through a start phase, a focus phase, and then a reward phase where you will feel good. Now, when you repeat this cycle over and over again, you will cumulatively progress towards a larger goal. Example, writing a book or studying for a test. If you manage to regulate your dopamine during these cycles, then Ismail Bhai is your uncle. Ismail Bhai ke patte hai, 25 saal se chanminar mein bata wao, aray tum loga serious kai gulay te aro. There are two ways you can achieve this. One is a corrective way. This is in my books a more practical way in this day and age where you time to time get distracted with life, but you got to pull yourself up quickly so you can get back to focus. Example, you're preparing to start a business, but there is no stringent timelines, etc. It's more leisure. The other is preventative way. This is saintly method of the monk mode. Here, there is no room to negotiate or get distracted. Like in a week's time, you have a medical entrance exam or a huge board or client presentation or an interview preparation that you're doing for your dream job. Or you're just focusing on growing your business and nothing else is of your interest for you right now. These goals are non-negotiable. Depending on how critical your goals are to you, you can apply a relevant framework. How I use corrective framework. Few weeks ago, I woke up with absolutely no motivation. I'll tell you in the end of the video how I lost my motivation to begin with. Now, step one is for me to not go down the rabbit hole of doing more pleasureful activities. I need to identify that I'm in a dopamine dip and pull myself out. The best way to pull myself out is by doing something that I don't enjoy as much. I started reading books for my kids because that's the activity that I enjoy the least. I made a cup of coffee. Coffee induces dopamine production. This gave me a bit of boost. Then I jumped into a cold shower. Now cold exposure boosts dopamine and keeps it elevated for several hours. Then I went to the temple and meditated in the sun for some time, had some breakfast prasad. That's it. My motivation was back on the peak. Came back home, worked on YouTube, did a bit of gardening, washed my car, worked more on YouTube. The video I wanted to finish editing, I did it. So essentially, I reflected and identified that I'm going through a dopamine dip, indulged in some least interesting to painful activities to boost dopamine production, and got back on track without any distractions. If I succumbed to any other distractions during the day, I wouldn't have finished what I wanted to finish.
So step one is to identify that you are in a dip. Step two is to do some activities to work through the resistance, like cold exposure, meditation, prayer, etc. Step three is to get back on track and don't distract yourself doing pleasureful activities again. Use the dopamine boost to focus on your important work. Now let's apply this to the cyclical process of initiation, performance with focus and reward. For example, if you have 10 chapters to study today, isolate yourself get the initial dopamine hit in the morning and be very careful not to celebrate as you're progressing through each chapter because remember after every reward your dopamine drops below baseline and you will have to do something to bring it back up instead just have the completion of the 10th chapter as your goal for the day this is exactly what happened in my situation i tied myself to the reward i didn't get much views on youtube there you go i lost my motivation and had and I had to recoup using the same above strategy. That's a corrective process. What Sri Krishna is saying is a preventive process that do not tie yourself to the reward, just focus on the actions. Andrew Huberman is saying the same as per the neuroscience. What will then happen is you will never have a dopamine dip. But in my opinion, for this to work, you essentially must eliminate all environmental stimuli because environmental stimuli will reinvigorate memory-induced dopaminergic activity and push you towards a relapse. That means you must delete all your apps, throw your smartphone away, or cut out anything that triggers your memory. Isolate yourself in some forest or just focus on your goals. Now, this is a psychological game. Most of us think it's not doable, but it's definitely doable. You just need a strong purpose and vision in your life. This is how great people achieve great things. I will cover off how to identify your life's purpose and vision and provide a free framework and template. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification buttons to not miss out on that content. So in this preventative method, you are essentially tricking your brain to produce more dopamine while working on the tasks that are required for achieving your goal. Some people refer to this as a dopamine detox. So Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita said, when you focus on the outcome, you will have your dopamine dip below baseline. The more you attach to the reward, the deeper will be the dip. And the deeper the dip, the longer it takes to recoup out of the dip. A cold exposure alone is not going to cut it. That's why you see some people when they win or fail, they never come back. They just either completely lose their subconscious motivation to make the next big epic or might completely lose motivation because they failed the first instance. So you must have only one goal in your head and eliminate all distractions until you achieve that goal, which means you are safeguarding your dopamine reserves. Unfortunately, there are no shortcuts or cheat codes here, my friend. Until next time, take care.